Welcome to race number 16 of this 5th anniversary event. We're here for Richmond, uh, no, here at Richmond International Speedway for the ARCA cars, the ARCA series. Nick Kennedy and Tony Green on the front row. Here's the full qualifying results, and I'll take you to trackside. And here's the race command. Without further ado, let's get this race started! Drivers, start your engine! It's a cloudy day here at Richmond. Feels like a night race. Almost. Field is rolling off. Here we go. Looks like Kennedy has problems already getting going and he's already in his pit stall. It looks like they're changing left side tires. And now the five of Joseph Curtis should lead him to the line. Gotta get up to speed here. Maybe he has a problem too, because he's not getting going without another car on the apron. Alright, there he goes. Outside line waiting for him now. They have to slow down for them. Oh, that's great. Whoa! And the 58 just takes off! What are they doing? Okay, the green flag has wo woven. Woven. So the 15 is currently scored as the leader. What a weird start to today's race. Well, there's going to be penalties for sure, and there they go. And the 5 is also coming, and he also got black flag. Yo, 6. Nope. Penalty, 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 penalty. I don't believe this. No, and we already got ourselves a wreck. Caution is out, and where in the... I don't even know. 33, okay, 33 at the line. Ugh, I don't get it. I don't understand it. What a stupid way to start out today's race. We'll take a look at the replay. Looks like Jack Legacy tried to go through the middle. What a mess. What a mess this was. Got hit from the 22 into the 30. Looks like it's just a 30 car. And goes right around. Got hit on the right side. And that car is already up in smoke. Got hit again by the 6. Got into the wall. The 6 gets into the wall. The 0 slams into him. I don't even know what's going on here. So, of course, a couple of guys to pit road. Of course, being black flagged. For the rest, are you probably disqualified if they're not going to come in? So the 15 of Jack Legacy's, well, he's out of the race. He misses pit road. Pit road may be closed, but this car is done. So here's first caution of the day. We'll take you back to the restart. Getting ready for the green. Four cars out of the race, and there are plenty of them on the inside. One lap down. So the 33. He is the race leader, so they got themselves organized. These guys cycled the way back. So they restart wherever they were. Where they're supposed to, they're at, where they're supposed to start. I don't even know what happened. They should have just called off to start. But they didn't. Here we go, getting ready for the green. The 33 is the race leader. Green flag's out. Here we go. Lots of cars a lap down, being black flagged, and this is their chance to get it back. All he needs is a quick get a caution coming out. Quick, and it might happen here. Almost wrecked. Right into the corner, way too hot. Oh, here we go, there they go. Yellow is out. The leader take it? Yes, they did. Looks like the 42 is the only one we was to get by. And a 10. The rest will gonna have to restart on the inside again. Caution flag is out for the second time today. Take a look at the replay. Dexter Black in the 11, I think, no. She started right here. 58, he just came in there. Tony Green, who is uh, another lap car. He actually made contact with the three car before. Down the back stretch almost caused a wreck. 
another lap car. These guys are racing for position. So they almost spun out there. But then entering the corner, Green's trying to shove him. So it looks like we got a little rivalry going on already. He rides him up the racetrack. Into the 55. Both of them into the wall. And the 11 looks like he got caught up in his own wreck. Oh, right there. Wow, he almost went up and over. Yeah, he tried to well, try to stay low as possible. But then came across right across the 48 and the 9. Yeah, he almost flipped them over. And look how old this is. This is a 2007 version of the track. Circuit City. My god. Crazy, isn't it? But uh, your second yellow of the day, and actually, let's see how close it was for the lap cars. Doesn't look that close. Yeah, there we go. Ten, just by able to even beat them by three quarters of a car length. We'll take you back to the restart. All right, here we go, getting ready for the green. Thirty cars out on the racetrack. Green flags back out. Here we go. Five more cars trying to get by. Will the leader let him by? Will Patrick be let him by? Or is he going to try to fight them? So, well, here goes the 06. Are you able to hold it? Got the other inside line of Antich. Another wreck! Almost! Well, careful, the 5 and the 33. Careful, you don't want to wreck the leader here. Well, he's trying to make sure he gets back on the lead lap. Here comes a 30. Taking advantage of the, all these lap cars getting in the way. And he'll take the race lead. 3 wide for second now. All they need is a caution. So now Kyle's the leader, and oh, oh there goes the 06 and the 33, and there it is. The caution they needed. And all four of them able to get back on to the lead lap. Yellow flag is out for the third time. Chris Kyle, the race leader. We'll take a look at the replay. I'm out of our position right here. I wouldn't, well, the lap cars weren't really in the way, but they did cause, well, having them in the way just cause a big stack up. So the 06, maybe just overdrove the corner. Rides a 33 up the track. Causes a caution. Helps the lap cars. And then there goes a 20. There's a separate wreck. Possibly much bigger. There they go. So much bigger wreck here. Don't think we've... Uh, we're not done with these lap cars. There's probably going to be more. So I'll just stack up the 9. Did everything he could. Five wide in the trial. I think I spelled that name wrong. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did. Good thing we're not raising for points. So there's your first third yellow of the day. We'll take you back to the restart. Oh, so it's just the one car, Nick Kennedy, who's a lap down. We're going to restart on the inside. It was supposed to lead the field to the line, but did not. After having some problems, and that just caused a mess, which actually shouldn't have happened. They should have, you know, just kept going. But here we go, getting ready for the restart. Get a restart around the halfway point. Green flag is back out, and yeah, three cars damaged, so not that big of a problem for the leaders. Three cars able to clear under the corner. Here goes a three back down. That's his. That's his uh, advantage right there. But he'll loses a lot down the back stretch. He can maintain his speed in the corners, but not in the straightaways. Calls up the inside line as the 01, the 71, go by on the outside line. Go oh, driving away too hard. Got into it. Whoa, the 22! Oh, here we go. And we got ourselves another caution. We almost got ourselves another rack, too. So the 30 is a race leader, and we'll take a look at the replay. Fourth caution of the day. Well, Jay Jefferson pretty much being impatient. The 3 gave him the bottom. The 3 kind of overdrove the corner. But uh, that could have been easily avoided. Caught up with the 71 and the 01. And he's doing everything he can to clear the 2. Or maybe, or the 3. I think the 2 may have made contact. Let's take a look. It's close. I doubt he took the air off of anything. We're on a short track. So, could be wrong on that. He may have gave him a little tap. 
or the 22 he just he was very he's being impatient doing everything he can to clear but he would have cleared him anyways because remember the three he, he can't keep up on the on the back stretch you don't need it in the corners well he's able to recover quickly there goes a 10 he goes around up to 10th one of the cars who got back on the lead lap able to drive it back up into the 10th place not a big wreck the three however will have to rest if he stays in the race of course he'll be able to restart on the inside line again this is one of the reasons why we got rid of the rule but he decided to bring it back for you know nostalgia I guess no maybe not well it was an old rule we used to use a lot caused a lot of mess a lot of moments a lot of action all that good stuff so there's your first no fourth why am I saying first fourth caution of the day we'll take you back to the restart getting ready for the green now the three is two laps down but he's on pit road 27 of Stuart Grain's also on pit road well they're just gonna just hoping they just pick up the pace quicker so they can restart without him on the inside where is he now? nope he's on pit road still on pit road right he was a pole sitter alright so no one on the inside clear for the leaders Getting ready for the green. Green flag is back out. Here we go. Bad start for Al in the 23. Ash Curtis, Sam Curtis, and Marcus Tatchy. Your top five. Here goes a two of Jeff Bright. Little bump and run right there. Aggressive move by Jeff Bright in the two car, but he's unable to get fifth. Marcus hangs on. Three wide right here. Yo, 6 the 22. Two cars who have wrecked. The 33 as well. Nope, oh, got a wreck. I think we have another wreck. Oh, oh, got a bad one. The 3 goes up and over. And the 10 cars involved. Got a car in the tri -oval. Coming to the yellow. Still rolling, still rolling. But I think he's done for today in the 534. Trying to take precaution. He takes it all the way to the bottom goes back to the top. Yellow's flag is out and oh, we got ourselves for another one. The 22 goes around. Alright, so our first flip of the day. We'll take a look at the replay. Now what is Nick Kennedy doing? He just gets back onto the racetrack and he drives it in there hard. And he slams into the 10. It's like Brian Vickers back at Martinsville. Back in 11. But the 10 didn't like that so he put him in the wall. Tano was having a good run after getting back on the lead lap, but because of the 3 or the 22 or whoever, I, I can bet he's frustrated. After first a bad, a confusing re, uh, initial start, and then he gets put a lap down. He gets back on the lead lap, got his way up to 10th, and then he got caught up in a wreck, falls back to 27th. And then gets caught up in another wreck, and he just had it. He didn't. He probably doesn't care that he flipped Nick Kennedy over. He saw the helicopter view. I was running away with the tennis trailer, really getting in the way. Gotta adjust these camera angles. Here we come here again. Yep, three try to clear him. I don't know what he was trying to do there, but uh, he said, "Forget it." Takes him out. He probably didn't expect him to go up and over, but he did. Uh, he kept going. He's trying to push him. He's trying to push him. Trying to get him going again. See you run. There's Nick Kennedy. Oop. Oh, boy. He's able to still roll too. Goes over one more time. Comes to a complete stop. On all four wheels. Backs it up and heads for the garage. And you can see these guys. Some of them, they just, you know, they saw it. The spotter told them. Look at the 34 sideways. He was fourth at the line. Sam Kurt is able to get him. Then he gets fifth. So he tried to take precaution there. He thought he was going to stay up top, but most of the drivers, he stayed at, a, uh, stayed at the top. 34 just went to the bottom, and then we saw the 22 of uh, Jay Jefferson going around. What happened here? Hope oh, contact with the 33. Uh, I don't know about that. Maybe he just went a bit too low, but uh, nothing too serious. Just spun right out to get back to the restart. Getting ready for the green here. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 that was horrible. 
Oh god, that was disgusting. <laughs> so the three with the brakes and the twenty-seven with the piston. Twenty-seven cars remaining. Pace cars in, here we go. This cloud in the air just makes it look like a night race. Wanna have like a nice day race. It is a day race. It's all cloudy. It's always gotta be cloudy. Green flag's back out, six laps to go. We gotta caution now or the next time by. No, we should get a caution now if they're gonna wreck. So we gotta warn ourselves a one lap shootout. Not that oh, we got a green white checkered. Well they're pretty clean now, they've been wrecking all day. Oh, 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 here we go. Try to clear. 55 is gonna go around. Almost went around. Five laps to go. Kyle's been leading all the Alright, interrupted, alright, let's get back into it. Kyle's led the majority of the laps, he just took the lead. All thanks to the cautions and the lap cars. Ash Curtis and the O2, finally we got some sort of run right here. Got a battle for the race lead. 33 and the O6 led, I think they only led like one or two. Then Kyle took it. And all these cautions and chaos everywhere. Keep it clean, should be good. Ash Curtis takes it a bit higher that time around. Three laps to go, three laps to go. The O2, Kyle kind of overdrove the corner, Ash Curtis. Look how quickly he closes right in. Might have a third or fourth car coming in as well. I would like to see Sam Curtis, Marcus Attache gets back into fifth. There's Tony Green, great recovery by him. Joseph Curtis, he's 11th. The O6 is damaged, but he's still hanging strong in the top 10. Here they come. Two laps remaining. Coming to the white flag. Chris Kyle, Ash Curtis. Can he get close to him? He ran a bit higher. Oh, got a car on the wall, but the leader has taken the white. We stay green. This is his chance. He's just hoping he makes a mistake. Here he comes. He's right there. Final two corners and half a straight away. Oh, he's closing. He's closing. He can't quite get there. Chris Giles won it here at Richmond. Uh, he was close. Kyle ran up higher than Ash Curtis did. Yeah, if he had one more lap, he probably would have gotten him. So close. Maybe his car ran better on the outside than the inside. Ash might have overdrove it a bit too hard. Comes up short, finishes second. A very weird race. An okay race. Not the best, but definitely not the worst. We'll show you the full race results. Here goes Kyle and there goes Kyle in first. Ash Curtis second. Al Legacy third. Marcus fifth. Jeff Bright fifth. Sam Curtis sixth. Joseph seventh. Tony Green eighth. Joe Jefferson ninth. And Josh was the tenth. That is your top ten for today. Twenty-seven cars finished today's race. Nobody finished. Uh, lap down so not a lot of cars out of the race which is surprising it's an ARCA race and we're at Richmond with the amount of shit we had today I'm surprised half the field isn't gone but uh, the race is complete Chris Kyle the race winner will now take you to victory lane